Welcome to the Make It Wag March project. I have a super fun, super easy project for you guys this month. It is a doggy calendar. I can't believe it took me this long to create something like this because I have such a hard time keeping track of everything I have to do for Lucy over there. Uh, and when I had two dogs, it was even harder keeping track of medication, walks, groomers, daycare, all the stuff that we had to keep track of as dog moms. So I created this little calendar that you can print out. I also have an Amazon shopping list. Check it out, there's just a few supplies that you need. I have a document holder, it's just clear acrylic. I have a roll of magnetic tape. I also bought a pack of fun colored markers because everything is better when it's colorful. <laughs> and then I also have my own scissors. When you get your document holder, it came with a thing of sticky tape. I don't wanna use sticky tape because I wanna keep this on the side of my refrigerator, kind of like a little doggy data center. The first thing I'm going to do is take my printed out PDF and just slide it in there. So that was super easy. <laughs> As you can see, it looks really nice. The next thing I'm gonna do, I already pre-cut one piece of magnetic tape to about three inches long. I'm just gonna cut a second piece. This is the easiest DIY that I think I've ever done a video for, but you guys are gonna like it. Easier is usually better. <laughs> okay, take your sticky side, just stick it on the bottom and press it really hard. Take the other half, take the backing off and stick it to the top. Make sure it's nice and secure. And that's pretty much it, folks. Um, then you wanna get out your markers and keep track of everything that you wanna do for your dog. These are great because they have magnetic backs on the lids, so you can keep them right on your refrigerator as well. I'm gonna put a hike on Saturday, a bath on Sunday, uh, and then on Wednesday, I think we're gonna do a play date with a doggy friend. And you can see it really works out really nicely. If you're gonna have a dog sitter or a dog watcher, this is a really great tool to have that they can reference. At the bottom in the notes section, I would recommend putting your vet's phone number or any emergency contacts that you have for your dog. Can't wait to see if you guys use it. Tell me if you love it or if you don't um, so that I can make an even better project for you next month. For more videos, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out wherewagrepeat.com for more DIYs for your dog.